National Coquille Saint Jacques Day. Coquille Saint Jacques, everyone's asking, what is Coquille Saint Jacques? It's scallops, okay? Now, I was fortunate enough in one of my restaurants that I've worked in over the years, Waterloo Sue's. Hello, all my old Waterloo peeps. Uh, we had this on the menu as an appetizer, Coquille Saint Jacques, uh, which is basically scallops, mushrooms, cream sauce, really, really nice. Um, and they used to serve theirs over uh, mashed potatoes. They would make like a scalloped mashed potato, kind of, you know, they would uh, pipe it so it would look pretty in the dish and then pour the scallops and the cream mixture into the center of it. So you had the mash with, the, oh, it was still delicious, delicious. So that's what we're gonna try to recreate today in honor of my old friends back at Waterloo Sue's. Alrighty, so we got all our stuff we need here. Let me show you what we need. Let's get started for this one. I already have my mash ready to go. Ain't gonna take too long today. See you in a bit. Okay, for our Coquille Saint Jacques today, you need 10 large sea scallops, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, a half a cup of diced shallots, eight ounces of mushrooms sliced, a cup of white wine, a half a cup of heavy cream, one egg yolk, some cayenne pepper, two teaspoons of minced tarragon, and a teaspoon of lemon zest. You'll also need a quarter cup of grated Gruyere cheese. Okay, so we start with, we're gonna melt our two tablespoons of butter in our pan and add our shallots to that, okay? And we're just gonna cook these until they're translucent, okay? Once you see your shallots are where you want them, nice and translucent, we're going to add our mushrooms to this, okay? And these are going to have to cook down for a little bit. As you know, they, they give off a lot of juice, so we want to make sure that it kind of reduces. We're adding a little kosher salt and some fresh black pepper. Okay, we're just going to cook this down until these are nice and soft and tender, okay? Alright, and then once you see they're nice and brown, you're not looking to caramelize them, you're not looking to really crisp them up or anything, you just kind of want to wilt them down. You're going to add your cup of white wine, okay? Right to this. And we're just going to bring this to a simmer with everything mixed in together, okay? So you just mix all that well. Should we get all our shallots off of our spatula here. Just bring this up to a simmer and then what we're going to do next is poach our scallops in this liquid. Okay, it's kind of cool. Like you're not usually the scallops you want dry and everything and you get the sear on and whatever. This is a little bit different. We're going to poach them and then they're going to finish cooking later when we turn this into a cream sauce. Okay, so bring this up to a simmer and we'll be back in a sec. Okay, and then once you have this up to a simmer, what you want to do is take your scallops and put them right in here and we're just going to poach them for about two minutes on each side and you're not looking to cook them all the way through necessarily you just want to start them cooking because like I said we're going to finish them later with the sauce in the under the broiler okay because that's how we're going to melt the Gruyere cheese on the top of this thing okay so about two minutes on each side if they're big scallops which these are good sized scallops so about two minutes and then once they're done on the second side, just take your scallops out of here and put them on a plate off to the side for right now, okay? Because we're going to finish this sauce first, and then we're going to put these all back together, okay? But for right now, you're just going to take your scallops off. And you can shut the heat off on that too, okay? And then the next thing you want to do is take this mixture with the mushrooms and we want to strain it actually, okay? Take all of our mushrooms and shallots out of this liquid that we have here. Okay? So you get all the juice out of that and put the juice back into this pan, okay? And then just save this stuff because that's gonna go back in after. Don't throw it out. <laughs> that's an important thing there. And then 
you turn your pan back up to about a medium high here and get this uh, liquid going that you had from the mushrooms and you're going to add your heavy cream now to this okay and what we're going to do is just bring this up to a simmer and we're going to let it thicken and reduce okay so a couple minutes until you see that it's it's gotten thicker and that it's a nice creamy consistency okay I'll show you what that looks like when we get there okay and then once it reduces enough you'll see it gets very creamy uh, thicker consistency okay so now you're going to take it off your heat and let it sit for a minute or two probably a minute just to let it stop boiling get your egg yolk ready and get a whisk a whisk you're gonna need a whisk <laughs> okay so now get your whisk and your egg yolk now this part I was a little unsure of but this is what they did and it seemed to work you're just gonna whisk this in I know usually you temper your egg but they're saying you don't have to okay just make sure you whisk it in really fast and really good okay And that's it really except for just the last couple spices you're just going to add some cayenne pepper okay a little shot of cayenne some lemon zest and some fresh chopped tarragon we chopped that up pretty fine okay and we're just going to whisk that into our sauce here too you're off the heat now at this point you're just kind of finishing up this sauce Okay, alrighty, everything looks good, everything looks ready. Let's get this into our casserole dish because this is going to be like uh, served family style as an appetizer in the middle of the table. Okay, so we're just going to do them all in one big dish. You could portion it out too and do them as individual dishes if you wanted to, but because this has to go under the broiler, it'll just be easier to just make one big dish and then we'll just scoop it and serve it right out of there. Alrighty, so let me get all my stuff to assemble and we'll be right back. Okay, so here's a little cheat that I did because I didn't feel like getting out my piping bag and piping our mashed potatoes. I took my ice cream scoop and put six big scoops, my big ice cream scoop, not my cookie scoop, my big ice cream scoop and I put six big scoops of mash and then what I did was created a well down the middle. Okay, so once we broil this and this kind of browns up around, it'll still look pretty. Now you're going to take your mushrooms and shallots and put those right down the middle into this channel that you've made. Of your mashed potatoes. Now again you don't have to do them over mashed potatoes this is just how I had them in the restaurant that I worked in and I really liked the idea of that because I love the idea of the cream sauce with uh, with the mashed potatoes I thought that worked really well okay so then what you're going to do is then take your scallops and put those on top Of your mushrooms okay so it'll look like that with your mushrooms and everything and then what you're going to do is take your sauce and you're just going to make sure you evenly pour this over your scallops okay you want to make sure the scallops are nice and coated now it's going to leak all into the other areas of your casserole dish and that's fine because like I said you re I really like the sauce with the mashed potatoes. I think it's such an awesome combination. But that's me. So you do whatever you like on yours. Okay, that's all ready for the oven, except we're going to take some Gruyere cheese now. And it's kind of sticking together here. We're just going to sprinkle a little of the Gruyere on the top. And you're just going to stick this underneath your broiler until it's nice and brown and crispy on the top. You know, the cheese kind of melts and browns a little bit. That'll also finish cooking your scallops because they were just about cooked anyway. Alrighty, so put it in your oven, brown it up, see you when it comes out. Can't wait to taste this one. This one's going to be good today. I haven't had Coquille Saint Jacques in over 10 years at least. Alright, be right back. Alrighty, so there it is out of the oven, our Coquille Saint-Jacques. Now I know it looks a little messy <laughs> in the restaurant where I used to work. It was a much nicer presentation. They did it as an appetizer in the actual scallop shell with the fancy potatoes. And yeah, I know. I probably should have did it that way, but that's okay. 
it's still going to taste just as good. So, like I said, this would be a nice appetizer just to put in the middle of the table and let everybody just start with this. Nice glass of wine. Okay. There we go. We're going to give it our taste test. There's our scallop there, beautifully cooked. As you can see, it finishes cooking in the oven. Okay, so we're going to take that with some of our sauce and our mashed potato and a mushroom. Perfect bite. A little bit of everything on one fork. Let's see how we did. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. You get that nice shot of tarragon in the in the sauce. You can see we got some cheese going there, our Gruyere with the scallop. Mm. Mm -hmm. Beautifully done. Definitely one to try. Something a little different. I wore my Canada shirt in honor of Coquille Saint Jacques. I figured French, French. Uh, but that's all today. Coquille Saint Jacques. Try it, people. Something different. Didn't take too long. Not too many ingredients. You know, pretty easy. It's a lot of steps because you got to, you know, do each thing before you add the next thing. And but all in all, really like it. Something different for a change. All righty. We'll see you tomorrow. Let's see what's tomorrow. Do I know it's oh dessert again tomorrow? See you tomorrow. <laughs>